Greetings to my team of 144 and all bro stars and sisters and warriors of the light in this realm. This is a special transmission today about the silver trigger on 11 11 2019. This has to do with freeing all of humanity from the Babylonian debt slavery system and activating the abundance for all codes and activations of the divine goddess through the silver portal. Now this comes from the Earth Alliance and from Cobra and his team. So I will cover information about this silver trigger, a meditation you can do on 1111, and then an interview with Cobra by the International Golden Age Group and about the Ascension Conference. So this has to do with our intent to free humanity from the debt slavery and to activate the abundance codes of St. Germain and the quantum financial system to usher in this golden age of freedom and abundance for all. And part of this has to do with purchasing on 1111 with the intent to free humanity, purchasing silver bullion, which is 0.999% silver and in ancient divine alchemy silver always represented or symbolized the moon or the divine goddess and gold was for the sun or god god consciousness or the divine masculine so gold for the masculine silver for the feminine the sacred waters and the sacred fire so below this video i'll have a link several links i found a silver bullion, an Aztec calendar on Amazon, which is pretty cool, and a liberty symbolizing freedom and liberation from the debt slavery system and all corrupt systems in this realm, and then one for the silver dragon, which is the divine feminine dragon of the silver moon. And full disclosure, I'll receive a small commission if you purchase through the links below, and any funds that I received through this. It's only a couple bucks per sale. I will put towards uh, the Healing Retreat Center in Ecuador. So I appreciate everyone's support. So we'll get started here. And this is from 2012portal.blogspot.com. So make this viral, the silver trigger, 11-11-2019. It is time to take action again. It is time to take the destiny of our world in your own hands. We all agree that the process of planetary liberation is taking too long. Here is our chance to collectively speed up the process. Therefore, we are using the opportunity of the Mercury Transit on November 11th to create a portal through which we will unify our consciousness and enlighten the energy of the worldwide financial system. Make this viral. Share it worldwide. Please post it on your website and blogs. Invite spiritual groups to join us. If you know an alternative media outlet, you can send it to them. You can create a Facebook event for your local group of people doing this in your part of the world. We also need one main uh, Facebook group for this event. You can create a video about this and post it on YouTube. Scientific studies have confirmed positive effects of mass meditations and activations on human society. So each of you that will participate in this activation can actually help bringing this breakthrough closer to us. And I'll also put a couple links below this video on this, these articles and other links if you want to do more research on this. So this activation helps the light forces that ground the energy of light on the surface of the planet to resolve the deadlock inside the debt slavery financial system, finally setting humanity free. A number of people doing that activation is the single most influential factor within the power of the surface human population for speeding up the process. We can reach the critical mass of 144,000 people doing this activation. This will create a massive healing chain reaction in the energy field worldwide. November 11th is the yearly day of the 1111 portal, and this year it is also the day of a rare transit of Mercury across the sun. If you plan to observe the transit with your eyes or telescope, never look directly to the sun. This may damage your eyesight as it was already clearly stated on the previous transit. 
in 2016. Transits of Mercury across the sun are very rare, and the next one will happen in 2032. The transit of November 11, 2019 will be the most precise alignment of Mercury and the sun in the 21st century, as Mercury will only be will be only 76 arc seconds from the geometrical center of the sun at the peak of the transit as seen from Earth. Astrologically, transits of Mercury across the sun are the best possible moments for everything related to finances. We all know that current financial system is not fair and that it was in fact designed to enslave humanity. The coming systemic collapse of the current financial system is actually the collapse of the debt slavery bubble. Current shocks in repo market are just the tip of the iceberg, signs of the underlying systemic instability of the system. The mega bank behind those shocks is JP Morgan, the bank at the very core of the f global financial system. Another structural weakness of the current system is the large amount of counterfeit U.S. notes. If this information goes mainstream, it can undermine trust in the U.S. dollar as the global reserve currency. Much greater threats to the current financial system are quantum supercomputers, which can easily break all encryption that protects financial data stored at the supercomputers in central banks and other financial institutions. Quantum computers that break all military-grade encryption and could theoretically take over the current financial system are already here. Therefore, anyone could take advantage of that quantum computing power by simply signing in to its cloud servers. And this is on dwavesys.com forward slash take dash leap. And that's dwavesys.com. The first minute of quantum computing time is free. The awakening part of the human population needs a hedge against the systemic collapse of the financial system. Therefore, the light forces are asking everyone who feels so guided to buy as much silver as they feel guided on the day of the Mercury transit on Monday, November 11th, 2019. It is very important that you buy your silver physically or online on May 11th and not before or after to ensure the coherence and harmonic efficiency of our action. Those without much money need to know that silver coins are not expensive. You can buy a single half ounce silver coin for about $12, which equals a few cups of coffee at Starbucks. Those who feel guided can buy enough silver to finance them for about one to two weeks, the expected time of reboot after the systemic financial collapse. Those who would like to invest can buy more silver as silver is an undervalued asset and the price is likely to rise. Large investors reading this or listening to this who would like to participate need to buy physical silver which needs to be stored at their own location, not paper silver such as ETF or ETN. And a disclaimer, this is not investment advice. This is just a recommendation. Silver is a hedge against dollar, no matter the dollar, no matter what way you look at it. And silver has always, silver and gold has always, since the beginning of money, has held its value. You can buy silver as coins or bars at your local dealer, online, on eBay, or at a bank. If the critical mass of 144,000 people buy silver, on November 11th, this will create the needed trigger to globally expose the manipulation of silver and gold prices by J.P. Morgan. In the mid-1970s, Hunt Brothers almost dominated the silver market for a few years against the global cabal. If a few brothers can do that, can you imagine what our collective power is? If this knowledge goes into mainstream global consciousness, it will create some of the needed conditions for the global financial reset that will set the foundations of the new fair financial system. Esoterically speaking, silver is the metal that connects us to abundance and to the goddess energy. Energetically speaking, buying silver will be a symbolic act of bringing abundance into your life. We will also be doing a mass meditation which will energetically support our physical action of buying silver. The purpose of our meditation is to anchor as much light as possible in the global financial system to ease and harmonize the transition. We will be doing this meditation at the moment of the maximum of the Mercury transit on Monday, November 11th at 1515 p.m. GMT in London. This equals 1115 p.m. CST in Taipei or Taipei in Beijing. 
5.15 p.m. EET in Cairo, 4.15 p.m. CET in Paris, 10.15 a.m. Eastern Time in New York, 9.15 a.m. CST in Chicago, Central Standard Time, 8.15 a.m. Mountain Standard MST in Denver and 7.15 a.m. Pacific Standard in Los Angeles. Japan and Australia will already have November 12th and the meditation will take place at 2.15 AEST in Sydney and 0.15 AM JST in Tokyo. The instructions for the meditation is Number 1. Use your own technique to bring you to a relaxed state of consciousness. And for myself and my team, what is important is either sitting cross-legged spine gently straight either cross-legged or you're in a chair with your feet flat on the ground and spine gently straight and breathe taking deep breaths inhaling and exhaling through the nose slowly and deeply with a gently straight spine and you can count the breath you can in with each inhalation you can count one exhale two up to ten and then start over again inhale one it keeps the mind on the breath And just slow, deep inhalations, slow, deep exhalations. And number two, you state your intent to use this meditation as a tool to bring the light to the global financial system. And number three, visualize a pillar of brilliant white light emanating from the cosmic central sun then being distributed to central suns of all galaxies in the universe. Then visualize this light entering through the galactic central sun then going through our galaxy, then entering our solar system and going through all beings of light inside our solar system, and then through all beings on planet Earth and also through your body to the center of the Earth. Number four, visualize this light transmuting all remaining darkness of the current financial system, healing all inequalities, erasing all poverty, and bringing abundance to all of humanity. Visualize a new grand cosmic cycle beginning, bringing pure light, love, and happiness to all beings on earth. And suggested time for this meditation is 20 minutes. So 20 minutes of meditating and visualizing. So if you feel called to this, please join us for this meditation. And I'll have the link to this also below the, below the video. It'll be an article titled The Silver Trigger or something like that. And now f- to clarify things about this event, the 11-11, I'm going to read you an interview from the International Golden Age Group on the Silver Trigger Activation and Taipei Ascension Conference. And this was from 10-30-2019, October 30th. And this is an interview with Cobra and his team. Hello everyone, today is October 30th, 2019. My name is Anthem. I am the founder and leader of the International Golden Age Group. This November is very special to many lightworkers around the world because we are going to hold two major events this month, the Silver Trigger Activation on November 11th and the Taiwan Ascension Conference on November 30th to December 1st. For the sake of clarification and promotion of these two important events, our dear old friend Cobra, the contact person of the resistance movement, would like to share his insight via this interview. From Cobra, okay, we have received many questions about the silver trigger activation and the Taipei Ascension Conference. We have even heard some rumors about this activation. Let's answer all of them one by one. Question 1. What is the exact reason for people to buy silver for this activation rather than gold or platinum? Cobra. There are many reasons for this. The first reason is that silver has a very specific energy and is connected with the goddess energy. This is one of the reasons. The other reason is that the price of silver is not so high so more people can join these excavations much easier than people for people buying silver than buying gold or platinum. Why do you specifically suggest people buy silver coin or silver bar? Silver bars are pure silver and there are also some other energetic reasons that I will not go into, but basically it is better to buy bars or coins. And you want to buy pure gold and silver, what is called bullion. Bullion is 0.999% silver. 
hundred percent would be too weak. They just can't mint coins and bars a hundred percent. If a person only buys gold or platinum on November 11th, would this purchase be counted as one of critical mass? No. So only silver, only silver. Once you mention that the minimum weight of abundance seed is three grams, what is the minimum weight of purchase for silver trigger on November 11th? Three to five grams at a minimum? Should we set a strong intention that we will free human, human society from debt financial slavery by means of buying silver when we make our purchase? Yes, this is very much recommended. So it is, in our, it is our intent as we purchase this to free humanity, all human beings, from the debt financial slavery. If a person has no idea about the silver trigger activation but co incidentally buy silver for good re luck or other reasons will such purchases be counted in the critical mass no because there will be no conscious intent behind the purchase actually there are millions of people buying silver every day question for people who are not interested in reserving precious metal can we encourage them to join our movement by persuading them to buy silver houseware such as silver spoons teapots or comb Yes, of course, they can buy these objects also. It will be good as long as they buy objects made of pure silver. We have a question from an artist of metalwork. Can I join the silver purchase movement by buying silver clay, metal, industrial silver, and create a silver art piece on 1111? Yes, that's an excellent option. For the sake of reaching critical mass, is it wise to encourage silverware shop owners, silver dealers, and silversmiths to buy silver materials on 1111? This is actually a very good idea because you can get more people and the amount of silver bought on that day will be larger because they need to be aware of the purpose of this activation, at least to a certain degree. According to Universal Time Zone, what time will light forces start to count the number of people buying silver when the first time zone on Earth enters November 11th? When is your recommended starting hour of buying silver based on UTZ, Universal Time Zone? As soon as the time zone of your location enters November 11th, but I would say the peak of activation would be the afternoon of UTC. Will it be more energetically beneficial if I buy silver near or in the time frame of the Mercury transit? Yes, of course. So can we focus our order in this time frame? Yes. What time can I make my last buying order of silver in, at midnight of November 11th in your time zone? Is it energetically positive if I buy silver with credit card, cryptocurrency, or borrowed money on 1111? It doesn't matter how you buy. The only thing that needs to happen to become your property, you need to be the owner of that silver. If I turn my silver ETF, paper silver account, or silver future into f physical silver, will such transaction be counted into one of critical mass? Yes, it will definitely be counted. And I encourage everyone who holds silver ETF, paper silver account, and silver future to convert them into physical silver on 1111. If we intentionally buy abundance themed silver coin or bar, will such purchase become energetically helpful to silver trigger activation? Yes, it, will act it actually will be. Should we avoid buying silver with the British Queen, Elizabeth II, portrait as possible as we can on 1111? It is not necessary to avoid buying any type of silver coins on that day. What counts is the silver inside the coin. What should I do if the silver with Queen Elizabeth portrait is my only option on the 1111? Okay, so if that is your only option, you definitely need to buy those coins. Canadian, Australian, New Zealand, Royal Mints must include the British Queen portrait in their silver coins and bar. Does this rule have any specific occult meaning? For example... Would such design give her the abundance energy of silver or let her symbolically own every silver coin and bar with her portrait? Actually, occultic speaking, it will give her control over that silver. But if we buy silver portrait on 1111, we will actually take silver out of her control. So it is actually a good thing. Question, if I buy gold-plated silver or silver jewelry with minerals or gems on it, would such purchase be counted into one of critical mass? No, you need to buy pure silver, not silver-plated items, and not silver jewelry, which is other materials attached to it. How about gold-plated pure silver? No, you need to buy pure silver. 
Which option is better on 1111 under the same budget? One, I buy one ounce of silver alone. Two, I split my money with a well-informed person and then buy half an ounce individually. The second option is better because more people are involved and more consciousness will get involved. If I have enough physical sir- silver to sell on 1111, should I sell some silver to those in need or should I reserve all of my silver until financial reset? Cobra, you can sell some of your silver to those that are aware of this process and they will be part of the activation. But it would be even better for those people to buy silver from other sources so that the awakened community will have more silver in total. Question, if I willingly sell my silver to those who would like to join silver trigger activation with more than 50% discount on 1111, will their purchase be counted into critical mass? To a certain degree, yes. If I have a plentiful reserve of physical gold or platinum and I decide to exchange some of my gold or silver platinum for silver of the same value, would this exchange be energetically helpful to silver trigger activation? Yes, it will definitely help. Will the silver we buy in 1111 carry special meaning or energy so that we should always keep it or it's not a big deal to sell it afterward? It will have a special energy because it will be infused with the energy of the 1111 portal. But if you feel guided at any point to sell it, of course you can. Question. A woman said people would be possessed once they buy silver. She also claims that all silver on the market is energetically polluted, so people should be very cautious. What is your opinion on that statement? Of course people will not be possessed if they buy silver, and the silver market is polluted at the same degree that all other matters on the physical plane of this planet. So they can compare the degree of pollution of silver with the pollution of the food that you eat each day so there is no difference and no additional danger of buying silver. If they want to purify their silver they can do it by putting it under water for one or two minutes so there is absolutely no need to worry about it. Should we be concerned for the possibility that the cabal uses fake silver to interfere our purchase movement? There is absolutely no possibility for the cabal to install fake silver specifically for this purpose. But there are some fake silver coins around. If you buy it from reliable sources, there is almost zero possibility that you will buy fake silver. In addition to 1111, can regular purchase of silver speed up the event and financial reset? Yes, if a critical mass of people do it on a regular basis, which is not very likely. So we can buy silver daily? If you are so guided, yes. Question and answer for the silver trigger meditation. Question, we are going to witness Mercury transit on the day of 1111 portal activation. Is there any occult meaning other than enlighten the energy of the worldwide financial system? Cobra, actually Mercury transits are quite rare. Whenever they happen, they bring a very strong flash of energy that brings new ideas, new understanding in the mental sphere of humanity. This particular transit is very specific because Mercury will transit very close to the center of the sun's surface as seen from the Earth. So it will be our almost perfect alignment and that will be very strong. Question. When we join Silver Trigger Meditation, can we put our silver on an altar with our crystals? Yes, of course you can. Do we have to do any ritual for our silver when we put it with our crystals? If you feel so guided, yes, but we have released the guidance of the Silver Trigger Meditation. You can follow the guidance and assist the critical mass. Question. If LV2 Ray Healers channel St. Germain's Ray and Andromeda Ray on 1111, would they be able to boost the momentum of the Silver Trigger activation? If yes, what target should they visualize in their mind? The Ray, which will be the most efficient, is St. Germain Ray. And even those who have level 1 St. Germain react, they would be advised to do this with a very high focus on November 11th. Those who have level 2 St. Germain Ray can put the whole planetary silver trigger activation when they visualize the healing process in their mind. Question, would you recommend that we do goddess vortex meditation every day before 1111 and we visualize rainbow vortex manifest more than 144,000 people joining the silver trigger meditation? This is actually a very good idea and I would recommend it strongly. Question, you mentioned that people can speed up manifestation by focusing their attention on a visual aid model. 
If we want to manifest an epic success of silver trigger activation and also financial reset, what kind of silver or visual aid model can we use? People as a group can create or, and print a flower of life mandala and put silver coins on each intersection of the mandala. You can use that model with a group meditation and visualize the success of the activation of 1111. Question, would you suggest any tool or protocol to magnify the power of this me meditation? For a large group, you can create a big printed flower of life mandala and put silver coins in each intersection. Then visualize the success of the activation and meditate near the mandala each day before 1111 to build up the energy. In addition to Abundantia, St. Germain, and Andromeda Ray, what beings can we invoke and pray to for the sake of supporting the Silver Trigger Meditation? You can invoke the presence of Goddess Lakshmi, and you can also involve any other light beings that you feel aligned with and they will assist this activation. Do you recommend that we do Ritual of Abundance every day before 1111 to support the momentum of the Silver Trigger? Yes. After 1111, should we integrate silver trigger meditation with the ritual of abundance so that we can focus our intent on a new financial system? You can do that if you feel so guided. Can we invite people to join the silver trigger meditation by saying this meditation can bring them money and good luck? Yes, when they join, you have to explain more to them so that they can understand the real purpose of this meditation. Silver Energy and Usages Blindfolded Abundantia is a very popular logo for a silver coin and bar. Is silver with this logo positive or negative? It is neutral. It depends on what the meaning you attach to it, so as to every symbol. Will tachyonized silver coin with New Atlantis and St. Germain logo play a special role in the silver trigger activation? It will assist the general activation process as other special silver coins and bars. Is there any special advantage of tachyonized silver? Cobra, tachyonized silver is more aligned with the energy of the source and more connected with primary function, which is to bring the goddess energy on the surface of the planet and especially inside the financial system. Question, how do priests and priestesses in Atlantean age use silver? They were created many very powerful objects made of silver. They were using big constructions of silver as portals to other dimensions. Question. Silver is the metal that connects us to abundance and to the goddess energy. How can we use silver to strengthen our bond with the goddess energy? Cobra. The most effective way is to create a goddess statue made of silver, and this will be the direct way to connect the goddess. Question. In addition to connecting abundance into the goddess energy, can you share other esoteric and occult usages of silver? Cobra. Actually, in a certain period of human history, silver was forming the basis of the financial system and it was quite effective because it was preventing large-scale manipulations that are happening in the financial system over the last two decades. Together with Gold Tip was one of the pillars of financial systems of many ages of the past. Question, how can I activate the energy of my silver so that I can have a stronger connection with it? Just go into meditation and hold your silver in your hands and it will connect to your energy. How do positive ET races use silver? Many positive ET races use silver to connect with the goddess energy. There are also certain races which have not yet reached the highest level of technological development. They would use silver as parts of some of their technological devices. But more advanced races do not need silver in their technology. For them, silver is a metal that connects to spirituality than technology. Does Mithril... The magic, silver-like metal, and fantasy literature truly exist in our universe? If yes, what properties and uses does Mithril have? No, it does not exist. Question, does silver represent a metal of abundance on other planets? Or it only has such meaning on Earth because we are controlled by a financial slavery system? No, metals such as gold, platinum, and silver are universal symbols of abundance throughout the universe because they are actually emanations of a very high spiritual frequency. When I say abundance, it does not only mean physical abundance, but also spiritual abundance. 
Other questions about silver. Question. China once owned nearly half of the world's silver reserve in the Ming Dynasty. Did light forces plan to hoard silver at that time? Actually, Ming Dynasty was one of the peaks of Chinese development of Chinese fine culture. And the sealed concentration of silver in the Ming Dynasty was one of these signs of high culture, and occultively speaking was one of the reasons why the Ming Dynasty was so successful and long as it existed. Question. It is mentioned in ancient Chinese literature that silver was once more expensive than gold. Do you know what caused the price reversion of silver and gold? Actually, in most locations on the planet, silver was less expensive than gold. But there were certain areas of China when there were more silver deposits than gold deposits, so in certain periods of Chinese history, silver was more expensive. But I would say lately the price of silver has been suppressed even more dramatically than the gold price. The gold-silver price ratio is about 1 to 80, but it actually should be about 1 to 16, I would say. Silver price has been suppressed five times more than gold. Silver is not as common as you can imagine based on the silver price. Question, is it possible that the price of silver goes up more than 50 times after the event? It is possible, but not very likely. After the event, the price of silver will increase dramatically, but 50 times, in my opinion, is a little bit of an exaggeration. Q&A for Silver Trigger for the 2019 Taiwan Ascension Conference. Is there any special energetic meaning to the date of this conference? Cobra, the date of this conference has been chosen based upon the planetary situation and the optimal timing based on the planetary situation and the development behind the scenes and the readiness for humanity to receive some of the new intel which will be released there. Question, this conference will be the seventh one in Taiwan. What is the special meaning of this conference? There will be a lot of focus on the new financial system, a lot of focus on the financial reset, and there will be some new intel re released. Also, I will give even more detailed explanations of the primary anomaly of the toplet bomb so that people can really understand what is going on behind the scenes. People would really understand why the event hasn't happened yet, and they will really understand what conditions need to be fulfilled for the event to happen, and to receive some practical, technical keys to how they can contribute to accelerating the event. Why do we have so many conferences in Taiwan? Cobra. Taiwan is a very special place on the surface of the planet. I would say that Taiwan is the central point of the most mass concentration of humanity. We're the most populated area on the planet. The second reason is that Taiwan is an island which has a very strong energy vortex. The third reason is that from the end of the Ming Dynasty to the beginning of the Qing Dynasty, many dragon families have escaped from mainland China and settled in Taiwan and they are quite present in Taiwan. So this dragon energy is supporting our conferences. This is actually the reason why we are having a conference there. This is the place, one of the most positive dragon family support places from the planet. Question, does the topic of this conference imply that humanity will be able to enter a new society and achieve first contact in a shorter time frame? Cobra, yes, there are some changes in this area. I cannot comment on the time frames, but I would say that the plan is being improved all the time and the plan is being adjusted to the situation all the time. What kinds of new tachyonized products can we expect to see during the conference? Cobra, this will be a surprise. Some things have been prepared. They will be strongly aligned with what is happening now. It will be a very good surprise for those who will be there. It will be the first time for certain products to be released. Question. Many people thought that last year's Ascension Conference in Taiwan was the last conference before the event. Some people might feel disappointed as there would be one more to go. Would you like to say some encouraging words to all the participants of this conference? Cobra, I don't want to raise any expectations and I didn't claim that would be the last conference because the timing of the event is not known. The situation is ever in flux. But each time we do a conference like this, we, we can wait, create a big push to work on the final liberation. We need to see things from the long-term perspective. Each of these conferences is one of the important steps towards higher goal. When the event happens and you look in your memory about each of these steps, you will know it is worth it. Question, in addition to an open mind, what should the participants prepare for in advance? 
Cobra, open mind is the main requirement. Everything else will fall into place. Question, will we discuss reality shaping breakthrough on Sunday morning? Should we prepare anything for the session? No special preparation is needed. Do light forces and higher dimensional beings like Pleiadians, Ashtar Command, Ascended Masters, RM, and Cosmic Central Race pay close attention to this Ascension Conference in Taiwan? Yes, of course. At every conference, they are already preparing things energetically. The energy is building up and they will be present to this conference. From Cobra, thank you very much. I hope people will join our activation as many as possible so that it will reach a critical mass. Then we can get one step closer to the event, Victory of the Light. Make this viral, the silver trigger, 11-11-2019. There you have it, brothers and sisters of the light. So you can join us on this mission for freeing to assist all beings in this realm to transition from the age, from the dark ages of the Babylonian debt slavery to the golden age of infinite light, infinite life, and infinite abundance for all beings in this realm. So be sure to check out the links below this video. Leave a comment on if you plan on joining us for the meditation and the activation of this silver trigger on this most auspicious day of 11-11-2019. Have a beautiful and blessed day, beloved warriors of light. I love you all. Namaste.